Here's a very common trig final question. Find the exact value of cosine 195. Let's do some analysis and solve this one. The analysis goes something like this. Whenever you have an odd angle, 195, that's not a special angle. Your task, first task is to find the combination of some special angles you can work with. Uh, two choices are, they're not limited to those two, of course, 270 minus 75. 270 is a special angle. 75 is not. However, 75 is 45 plus 30. Or if you saw it as 150 plus 45, that's okay also because 105, 150 is not special, but 180 minus 30, all those angles are special angles. Now for this case, I particular, I choose the first one. It's a little more cumbersome, but I think it shows more how to solve those type problems. All right, let's get to it. What I have here so far is I split using the first one I said earlier, and you can use this one, but for this case, I use the first one. I have 270 minus 75 to get 195, and this is a... I would say one of the most important things in trig you do have to know is a sum and difference of angle with when it comes to cosine. Now, I was told once that cosine is the selfish one in that cosine and cosine clump themselves together. That's one way you can remember this. And the sine flips. So if it's adding alpha plus beta, then it becomes cosine alpha cosine beta minus sine alpha sine beta. Anyway, Anyway, this is one of the equations that we do need to use over here. Now, substituting over here, since there's a difference of the angle, this is minus sine, and this becomes a plus, and then cosine lumps themselves together. And with the 270, since cosine is the x value in the unit circle, the first part goes to zero. The reason I want to do this part first is I'm not sure if I need to find a cosine 75 or a sine 75. I don't want to find both of them. And from here, it's pretty obvious I need to find a sine 75. That saves me one step. Now, on the test, the one step you can save that equivalence to the time you saved. All right. So what we need to do next the one then is to find out what sine 75 is. Then we're done with this problem. All right, so what I, we have here, sine is another angle uh, formula here we need. Sine is not the selfish one compared to the cosine. They do not lump each other. So sine alpha plus beta is sine alpha cosine beta. It's a fair game. And then this uh, adding and subtracting follows the sine here. So using this formula here, I was able to find out what sine 75 is. Now all those are special angles. Here is a little shortcut if you must know. I uh, hope the helps you. 30, 45, 60, and the order for sine goes 1, 2, 3. Uh, here I missed the slash half here. So on the top numerator, you can see it's 1, 2, 3 with a radical sign, and cosine is backward, 3, 2, 1. So anyway, that gives me the 75 over here. Compare this one goes away, minus 1 gets carried over here, and here's my sine 75 value right over here. So in the end, cosine of 195 is equal to minus this radical of uh, sine 75 value. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. I hope this helps you. Please comment or share this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.